The tradition of the bailiff laying at the war memorial on Liberation Day, a wreath designed like the Guernsey flag, dates back to the days when Sir Charles Frossard was bailiff. The first occasion may have been the 40th anniversary of Liberation. That was the day the Guernsey flag was first unveiled, having been approved by Her Majesty by order in council, with the Red Cross of St George and the Gold Norman Cross with which we are all now familiar. Normally I would be leading a procession of the Royal Court, comprising members of the judiciary, including jurats, members of the bar and greff staff, who would all be robed and accompanied by Lieutenant Governor's cadets carrying the Union flag and the Guernsey flag. We stop at the Island War Memorial at the top of Smith Street to lay a wreath to remember the islanders who have made the ultimate sacrifice in times of war. We then process to the seafront to await His Excellency before inspecting the parade of military, ex-military, youth and uniformed organisations, after which we move to the town church for the Liberation Day service. That's what happens in normal times. Today, it's just me. After laying the wreath, I pause to reverence the memorial, and as I do so, I always reflect on the people whose names are inscribed on it. Each one had a father and mother. Many had a wife or sweetheart, and a lot of them had children of their own. They all had friends and relatives in the island, each one of which will have been grieving over the loss of their loved one. This year, as I lay it, I am saying a silent prayer for those who have lost their lives in this pandemic, and for the essential workers who are working tirelessly and selflessly to save the rest of us and to keep the island functioning.